so welcome guys to my tutorial uh, today i'm going to show you how to do live streaming using microsoft's media uh, microsoft azure media services and with the help of uh, obs studio so what are what are the prerequisites for this thing so you you might need a microsoft uh, azure subscription and a obs installed uh, in your desktop so so obs is the thing that right now which i'm currently using so without any further ado let's get start let's get st let's get going so so you need actually first at this step you need to log into portal.azure.com and then search for azure media services so let's search for azure media services and so there you go so that's the media services thing so if you go to them so right now it's empty so for in order to do that let's create an em empty resource so let's create a account name so let's create an account name for now let's use live stream okay sundar ishwar uh, live stream and let's create a new guys this is a very uh, good thing that always you need to create a resource group because in the end when you're deleting it it will it is also a good thing and after that let's uh, i use uh, i use central india in order to get uh, um, because it, i'm live in india so that's the thing and after that you need to just create a storage account just create an empty storage account and leave the settings as it is and once you uh, write the name and just let's click okay so after that uh, let's click start create sorry so let's wait till it starts okay so currently it's deploying so while it's deploying let's do one thing so uh what so how does uh, azure work well azure uses a uh, encoder thing which i would show you in a bit um so well it's creator so let's go to the resource back so if we when it's deployed so let's go to uh, so you will be uh, welcome with this screen so so now i want to now you to like navigate to the live streaming section So once you're in the live stream section, you need to uh, you know, create a channel. So the thing is that you can create multiple channels under a single um, resource. So you you can be pretty organized to that. So let's start. Let's click the settings thing. And as you're using OBS, uh, you need to change this encoding type to the live encoding thing, and just create a name. I'll just give it live test live stream anything. and there's an option to enable low latency if you need a low latency uh video but uh well it does cost more so it's it's on your option like if you need to enable low latency so it's fine and so and keep the streaming protocol as it is and uh, like keep this function also same and right now it's on default 720p you can also use custom preset in order to like increase the quality and thing remember but it does uh affect on your billing so So while it's creating channel, uh, so I'll get back to my point of how um, live streaming in Azure works. So nothing much. If you see, there's um, so there, there's a live setup encoder. So let, let me just hide it. So there is a live encoder. Okay, this is this is the process. So then, um, okay, it's creating, but it's it's, it's uh, so let me explain this. So the external encoder that we use is the OBS thing. The OBS captures using the RMTP protocol or any smooth protocol and sends it to the live event using the endpoint. And we, I'll just show you uh, what is the endpoint later. So it does, and then sends to the archives. And this is the streaming endpoint. So what the streaming endpoint will will get will get the streaming endpoint through which uh, we need to play. Right, the attendee would get the link. So okay, so. well it has started so let's go to the channel section and then test live stream. let me hand it the test live stream okay so this is the uh, thing which you get after clicking on that for that uh, so in order to start let's click on the go live section so it's creating so you will observe near the programs there's a new thing that is getting created that that is your uh, uh, program which which it which helps you and gets the endpoint for the um the live streaming thing so let's just wait till it okay so as the program has now started uh we'll just click on the 
so let me just hide it and click here uh, let's wait until it loads okay now as it as it loads loaded you you might observe um, there's a red icon in the, near the stream so if you see this there's an uh, red icon near the stream so if it so this is the streaming endpoint which would get in the end so let's for now let's see what happens with the streaming thing so if you click so so this might be say like to begin streaming you need to you need to a stream endpoint must be running so click here to update a phone we'll just click it and so here the uh, so this is the screen so if you see that the enable cdn is not yet so if you click on enable it so it will ask for a cdn profile if you have an existing profile you can use that for now we'll just create a new one so for the new one i'll just give it a name and enable it so yeah so now it's enabled so let's start our streaming session so it, it just asks like are you sure that if you like click yes the streaming will start in so let's click yes and let the stream start so till uh, by like till the streaming endpoint starts we'll just uh, copy this ingest url and set up our obs studio for that uh, i might be using a remote desktop connection to my other computer since i'm currently recording uh, using obs on this one so this is my uh, remote desktop which i'll be using for the streaming thing so open obs on this and currently i'm sh i'm having a window with uh, like it, it is currently showing up of this window so if i start the stream so it would like the streaming would start in this window so let's go to the settings thing okay so so copy this url and i'm not doing because uh, it's currently recording on mine so uh, let's go to the so if you go to the settings and stream options so here just uh, go to options and click on drop custom and then paste the thing okay it's not copy on so i think we'll just go back and copy it let's copy it again and paste it okay there you go so and the stream key should be uh, let me show stream the uh, the stream key is, is default and click on apply and okay so so the stream streaming and everything is set up in our obs studio so let's just wait until our uh, this thing starts okay so now the endpoint has been created now now we can successfully like start the stream on obs so you might also see the green tick that is uh, visible uh, that the streaming has been started there you go so here's the green tick uh, where you so let let's just copy this url so this is the url which you need to give to the attendees in order to view that live stream so let's go back to my main system and like let, let's just uh, so i have already started my uh, streaming so right now it's streaming at 30 fps so so this is the window which would be shown if someone connects this is the window some if someone connects using that stream and so right now i'll just demo it so i am i will use a vlc player and let open let's open its network stream and paste it paste the url which you have and let's click play there you go uh currently it's playing in a relation i don't know why because the vlc player thinks i have a low internet connection which i do not so this is the this is the streaming which we get so be, as 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 the obs is streaming the, that screen only we'll get let me just play a video so that you would get a, a realization about how uh, how the youtube plays uh, you like the screen the streaming plays so right now i'm currently playing a live video which is happening in the obs studio and well uh, the thing is uh, if it, well did you because i didn't select the low latency thing uh, azure uh, azure has a 20 to 30 second uh, stream delay so i so i'll just catch up when the stream goes uh, back okay so uh, the stream has caught up so there you go so in in the in the play you can see that i am using mouse mouse and enabling the video so there you go uh, the stream is playing currently you obs is uh, transferring the data to my azure network and azure network is uh, encoding everything and sending it to my vlc player so this is the screen which we get so it's currently live and everything and you can see in the vlc player also the attendee can all attendee is able to view the stream so i don't know why because i don't know because due to i think internet issues the vlc thinks that i have a low internet connection this reason it's playing a low quality 
so if you like if uh, so as this is obvious studio we can add different kinds of windows and everything you can add your webcam and everything let me just put it on the video okay since i have don't have anything let me just uh, open my file manager and and let's just and let, let me open just open my file manager and let's do the thing so uh, it should happen let me just remove the extra window and let's add a uh, file manager screen also so that we could you can I, i'll just show you that you can customize the screen and everything uh, just open it just bear with me okay so we got it and let me just keep it on the side and keep it on this so we'll have an half up screen so this is just for the demo base i will just want to show you that we can customize the screen and everything for the live you can also enable the webcam and everything so let let's just wait till uh, obvious the stream catches up okay so the stream uh, caught up again so there you go and as you can see my file manager is uh, opening and uh, in in a bit moment we'll see that uh, thing which i was doing about like maximizing and everything so let's wait a moment okay so there you go so i don't know what happened so there you go uh, you can see the live stream is happening and the the way that i set um the windows and stuff you can see the attendee can also be able to see that so there is a 20, 30 20 second delay um that that's the reason because azure uh, always provides the free thing so uh, there there's a reason it it is if you want to have a, a low latency stream you can always enable that option so you would you wouldn't get that much delay in your stream so yeah there you go um two screens two screens there you go okay so let me so so after the stream what you want to do like if you want to stop and everything so let's just close the screen and i'll just stop it the stop the streaming so what so right now the stream has stopped uh, everything so let me just minimize it and if you want to stop the screen if you want to stop the streaming uh, you can just after the stream you can just go to the go to there and click and ha huh, yeah one more thing sorry so azure provides you four kinds of endpoints one is smooth streaming one is mpg dash and you can use any any endpoints in order to get the uh, it's on your wish so you can use any of the endpoints in order to get streaming right now i i just use the default one in order to uh, use the network stream you can you can it, it, it's it's on your wish like what kind of endpoint do you want to use and well you can also use this watch function which which uh, starts an inbuilt player in the azure right now i have stopped streaming so it would be just a blank screen so i will just i just want to tell that it's a thing which you can like do that for testing purposes so this is the live stream thing and let's do um let's stop and hold on okay sorry so let's just stop it so once you're streaming a stop you can just click the stop button and once you click this and yes so the billing happens um, in between the start and stop of the process so once you have, so the billing starts once you have clicked the start button above and the billing stops within the stop button so so you you are only uh, like cost like i would say you, the billing only cost when you like use this use the use the function so azure has, azure has a good thing about going uh, pay as you go service so yes the program stopped and everything so let me just go back and okay so after this after you got um like everything and you know now you want to get rid of the live streaming thing so once you have done everything live stream so so in in order to uh, remove the resource re remove the resources everything so once you go to resource group thing there's a live stream test so i remember i did told you to create a live resource group so that everything would be in 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 the same resource group so you don't need to like after the after the user remember you don't need to go and go outside um uh, like delete each and every resource like you have created a different streaming point and everything so in order to in order that we can just use a resource group thing so let's click on delete resource group yeah so be, be, again so th that's the thing which i want to show like everything you can you don't need to you don't need to like go into you can just click the resource group and just click delete and let me just type type the name again it just it just just checks you that if you like really want to delete so once you have clicked it so that's the deleting thing 
so it, it will delete all and everything and you don't need to uh, like delete separately each and everything so yeah well that's the thing i want to show you uh, this, this was a short brief uh, thing which i wanted to show you like how to live stream using uh, microsoft azure services and feel free to comment down below uh, what um, more things that you want to learn and things that you want to learn okay so so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you again goodbye